All right, everybody. Might I do this again? I'll take you guys on another trip here. Another visit to the scrapyard. Let's see the camera angle. Camera angle seems okay. The road is, uh, I don't know if they, oh yeah, no, it's really uh, rough over here. All right. I think I gotta dodge some of these potholes. Yeah, I got some of the uh, some of the hoarding house stuff in here. Might as well get rid of it, right? I don't want to hang on to any of that stuff. <laughs> it's so gross, it's unsellable. But that's not what this channel's about. This channel's about scrapping primarily it's not a it's not a eBay channel or a reselling channel or a thrifting channel there's so many other channels that are really really good yeah you got uh, Shane Man TV He's really good at what he does. He's not primarily a scrapper, although he does do some scrapping and dumpster diving. That's pretty much where he finds a pretty good amount of his stuff from dumpster diving, from what I can figure. He got, um, of course, he got Tucker Upper. I mean, he's not really a scrapper primarily. He's kind of. But he's sort of like a little bit of construction, a little bit of stunts, a little bit of our urbex, a little bit of everything, a little bit of art, a little bit of reselling. Of course, you got Taco Stacks. I mean, you uh, he's pretty damn good, man. He's not primarily a scrapper, although he does do a lot of scrapping. A lot of curbside finding and stuff like that, but he does a lot of thrift store. He's into the thrifting. Yeah, this place is so dusty, they got the water out. Hosing it down. Trying to keep the dream alive, I guess, right? Alright, I'm not going to declare my uh, my ACs, I'm going to leave that stuff on the truck. Still 235 a ton. We're at up before my phone gets hot. Okay, it looked like she waved me on, so... <laughs> oh, wow. Well, 235 brings everybody and their brother out. Right? Look at the monster scrap pile.
the, the guy with the W shirt on, for, you know, the Cubs, he's, he's kind of a prick. Gonna show his face or anything, but I shut the motor down. Wow, that took five minutes. All right, let's see what we got. Got it, you hope. smell. You know the one, right? The smell of a house where stuff's been hoarded and it's nasty. Somebody claimed, well I know who claimed, but oh it is Adele. I see a, I saw NEC. Smart man. Pushing it, man. Yep. You know who forgot his clipper, right? stupid thing. I think it's steel. But it had a weird fuel in it. Maybe it's copper. Let's go back down there. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm a dumbass. Let's see, let's see what the fuck is I just threw, uh, I just threw a piece of copper right off the truck. That was dumb. I'm so smart, aren't I? Ugh. I'm the smartest guy in my life. Actually, I'm pretty dumb. Y'all just seen what I did, right? A little rat's eye view here. Unless I prepare the load at the warehouse, I'm, uh, yeah. This is, I think it's steel. That's definitely. I had a couple people comment. There's parts in that Kirby, I don't know. All right, so so we'll save it. Watch what happens. I'll be tripping over it like ninety billion times. It'll eventually get to the point where after I've tripped and fell on, fell on. After I've tripped and fallen. 
off of it for the 60th time. I'm like, look at that clipper. Let's see if it works. Oh, King, you should keep that. Yeah, I, I would keep it until, until I lose it. And no matter what, no matter what, no matter what I do, I end up losing it. The damn thing. Put the timer down. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm actually making fun of myself. Sometimes it is kind of hard to work with uh, my hand. Okay, let's see. Those hoarder people must have found two and made one one good one. Look at that. King, did you know that those pieces are aluminum? <laughs> yes, yeah I do. More, thank you. Now that's aluminum. Now that's also gross. Ugh. Alright, so I'll be a sissy. Come on, Kingdom, this is the scrap wave. Why do scrappers talk to themselves? That could be aluminum. It is. My ear says that it's aluminum. So then, you know, I feel like I'm being picked on. Why do scrappers talk to themselves? Scrap and pallet man talks to himself. You know, like, like you're gonna go and find like somebody that's like kind of popular and go, he knows it. <laughs> no, I'm making a channel. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't babble. Why am I being beat dead? Now, I'm surprised though. such a hurry, man. A hurry to go nowhere. He just wound up tighter than a clock. Let me tell you. Maybe he was afraid you were going to be his next tenant. Why do the commenters have like a deep voice like this? I don't know. Everything has a like a sticky a sticky substance to it. I call that spoo.
can't, you can't get it over the ridge. So you're forced to engage the, the piece of scrap. Watch out guys, I want to push this down, okay? Yeah, that thing's under terror. My hands for three minutes and it's broke. Yep, it's got the wire on there. My new toy is broken. Put something in my hands. <clears throat> it's not long for this world. Trust me. You right. King, that's a five thousand dollar sewing machine. They made ten of them back in nineteen eighty three. Thank you for the advice. I appreciate it. Can you imagine if I saved everything? Why you do, King? You're a hoarder. Yep, saved the Kirby. Got all the scrap out here, man. Time to climb down.
okay he didn't he didn't even take a look and I said there's no gas bottles or garbage which there isn't and uh yeah <clears throat> But the other day when I came here, the the old the old piece of shit that's in the that's right. He's a POS. He wanted to knock 50 pounds off. And there was almost no plastic in there at all. I spent five minutes arguing with him. There was, there was another scrapper that was throwing bags and all kinds of weird shit into the pile. And uh, thank God I was doing a YouTube video and I showed him my video proof. He's like, oh, you not show everything. No, uh, I showed everything. Look at this truck. That's a dump truck. Those guys are scrappers. That's the setup I need, man. Hey, Junior. <laughs> there, goes, there goes the owner. <laughs> I think they're late. Ninety nine hundred pounds for real. There's still that much weight on the truck, eight hundred pounds. There's eight hundred pounds of scrap sitting on the truck, and most of it's like air conditioners and stuff like that which I didn't declare and since I didn't declare them I can't scrap them oh I almost forgot the inspection ticket they give you an inspection ticket here all right let's head into the office for the dream yep so there's uh this I guess weighs 800 pounds I can't believe it but okay there's a computer monitor and a bunch of AC related things and a IBM computer tower all stuff that well I need to take back because I didn't declare any of those I'm supposed to declare them oh you can't scrap them and I just didn't feel like getting out of the truck and declaring any of that stuff Every day for me is a long day, man. Woo! I don't know. Why don't you get rid of some of those keys, Kingdom? <laughs> well, if I could, I would. But... It's a necessary evil. I remember... Hard time remembering. Uh, oh, I need the key for the. Oh, I gotta go all the way back home. Oh, I need the key for the. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know, did they chase him out of here? These two guys had a dump truck. I don't know if they went. Maybe they went through the thing too fast. Because the owner came flying out. And they still have that, that tower there. Big wagon, you know, wagon or trailer, dumper trailer filled with scrap dreams. Big Ford diesel pulling it along. Sure, I have a comment or so will say, you need one like 
tougher upper. Yeah. Hey, you know what? They're not wrong. But six thousand dollars, where the heck is that going to come from? You know. At what point do you stop putting money into this and and start trying to hoard the money? You know what I mean? After a while, you get sick of uh, reinvesting the cash back into it. <clears throat> the, for me, the dream is to get the house paid off. That's it. After that, I don't care. I could close up shop. I could close up shop and just uh, drive around my pickup truck like uh, maybe twice a week, and that's it. And not do a damn thing else. You know what I mean? A lot less stress. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.